going on everybody level and diecast here today i'm going to be bringing you a showcase mixing it up from all those up to dates i've been doing for you guys uh, i'm going to be bringing one of my my favorite models and i don't have a ton but i really really like this model this is a toyota high ace uh i'm going to go through all the high aces i currently have uh which is not a huge list unfortunately but uh you know, spans several generations, several different ones. Uh, we're going to start out today with Matchbox. And I recently got all of these high aces uh, not three, four weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> I've been training with a guy down in Australia. And uh, he's he's my only source for, for Majorette right now. He's, uh, he's my lifeline. Um, so, Jackson, if you're watching... This one's for you, buddy. Um, I I don't really anticipate this model being something that will really come to the U.S. unless Majorette really just unleashes their own, just all their own products here. I don't understand why they keep having to try to tailor make everything for the U.S. market. Just literally grab everything off the shelf that they sell everywhere else and stick it here. You know, maybe not like the Dubai stuff maybe, or, you know, regional exclusive stuff, but just the general core range would do fine here. I just don't understand. Uh, this first one is in a pearlescent white. Uh, it's obviously a people mover. Uh, this particular model of Majorette does not have any opening features. It does feature suspension though, of course, and all the good tampo printing on it. Um, I believe this was in High Series 2, I believe. Um, I think so. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't butcher that. But uh, I crack all these open. I really don't pay attention to the series. I just like them anyways. I just try to get as many of them as I can. Uh, this next one is just in basically eggshell white, I guess you could say. Um... It's it's definitely a little bit of a cream color to it. It's a it's a really nice color. It's not as nice as the first one, obviously, with the you know pearlescent to it. But this is really nice. It's still a people mover. Um, I think this one was also in the same series, um, although one of these may have been in the streetcar series. Um, don't butcher me, guys. I'm not a majorette super aficionado. I am working on that though. I would love to be a majorette aficionado. Uh, ask me something about a little bit older major ed. I might be able to answer that. Uh, we're going to keep on with the, the people hauler. Um, as a matter of fact, four of the five versions that I have are people haulers. Uh, this one has a different wheel on it. Uh, on most major ed models, this wheel is kind of cheap. But on this one, it's perfect. Uh, this wheel just works perfectly for this model. Uh, and frankly, it's probably just because the casting is just fantastic. It's just an excellent, excellent casting. So, major, major kudos to the Majorette team and all the good stuff that they do. I really, 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 really enjoy your guys' models. So, hopefully somebody's watching. Uh, next model is in silver. It's got those same wheels, but in black. Still works good. Uh, the silver version is very, very nice. Obviously, I'm impartial to silver. My real vehicles are all silver. Um, I really like silver. I think it's, it's a good color. Um, this one, I think is, uh, I don't know. This one's the, by far the best though. I, I really feel like the silver helps pull the details out of the casting. Um, I don't know. That's just me. You guys can let me know what you think about that, but definitely my favorite version for sure. Definitely my favorite version. All right. We're going to move on to the 13 cabs promotional model. Um, this is an Australian cab company. Again, thanks to Jackson hooking me up. Uh, came all the way from down under. And uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I was always worried that, you know, even though we have regional stuff, everybody has regional stuff, it doesn't necessarily always show up everywhere. And, you know, when I was like, hey, buddy, can you give me these? And he's like, I'll do my best. And he came through. I was super, super happy. So, um takes time. Let's take time. Uh, I've been trading with him for closer to two years now. We've done two boxes, so we kind of stack up a lot, and then we ship out. And um, Very, very nice so far. 
So we met on Instagram. I'm telling you, man, Instagram is a powerful tool. You guys follow my Instagram. Uh, last majorette. This is the panel van version. And I absolutely love the majorette logo on this. It's perfect. I feel like if I had one of these drive up to my house and just open up and just unload a bunch of majorette and be like, hey, here you go, buddy. How about you tell the world about us? I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. It'd be awesome. Um, I actually have already inquired what it takes to be a marketing partner with Majorette. And um, that's going to be a goal. That's something I want to try to get. You guys are going to be able to help me do that, but I got a long way to go. Um, I need several thousands of subscribers. So, you know, everybody needs goals. Let's set goals and let's achieve them. Let's do it together. All right, we're going to move on to Tiny HK, Tiny Hong Kong. Uh, these models are a little bit bigger-ish scale when you set them right next to like Atomica or something like that. However, Tiny HK, these are really made to be like diorama models. They're not necessarily made to be like you know, your die cast per se, at least in my opinion, just because Tiny makes so many diorama sets and stuff like that. Um, they're really meant to be posed. Um, you know, they're just, they're just fantastic models. They're fantastic models. They have suspension. Um, they have, uh, opening doors. Crack this open for you guys. It's the typical, uh, giant hinges. Uh, even, even Tomica does that with the models that they have that have opening features. Um, however, the Tomica does not have an opening feature. We'll get to those. Of course, I have Tomica. Um, I really like these models. I would like to get more. There's many, 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 many different versions of the High Ace from Tiny HK, but the problem is getting them in the U.S. at a decent price is extremely difficult um i paid 10 bucks a piece for these which is totally fair um however i when i bought them i bought them with a bunch of other tiny hk as i mentioned in one of my previous videos i got these from uh an ebay seller named tokyo station in canada they have tomica tiny hk all kinds of other stuff cool anime stuff no, I'm not sponsored by them. No, I'm not doing anything. I just, this is where I got them. So if you guys are looking to get some HK, tiny HK, there's an option, okay? And being that it's only coming from Canada, shipping's not all that bad. It's really not all that bad. Um, if you guys follow my Instagram, you'll know about a month or so ago, I actually put up a UD Trucks version of this GoGo -Go van livery, um, which is pretty freaking sweet. It's a much, much bigger model, but it's still in the same scale range. Um, and just shows off how cool Tiny HK is. Super cool stuff. All right, we're going to move on to some Tomica because, of course, I got Tomica. Now, I just did an unboxing of this Gilco wagon, and this is uh, a Toyota Hiace, and uh, hopefully nobody, you know, wants to argue about this, and if you do, um, there you go, okay? Now, obviously, this does not have moving features, but it's well detailed. Not a lot to go on here. I did an unboxing of this. I really like this. This is the most recent edition I have. Um, definitely outside the, the realm. But that's good though. Because it leaves some really good uh, variety in my, my collection. Uh, we have the normal high eighth version. Completely unmodified. Bone stock. Nothing special about it. Other than it's just awesome, all its awesomeness. Being a. Toyota High Ace. Um, and the funny thing is here is I'm not really a van guy. I know that I collect the A100 van from Dodge and M2 makes it. But I don't collect it because it's M2. I don't collect it because it's a van. I just collect it because I like the A100 and I am a Mopar guy. This, I just really like this van. I don't particularly go for vans. I can't even explain why I like the High Ace so much. But... Um, I'm super bummed out because I did try to get one of those tarmac wide body high aces and uh, nope, no luck. 
So if anybody has one of those Tarmac High Aces that they're willing to part with, uh, shoot me a, a comment, DM, whatever you want to do, email, Instagram. Hook a brother up. I will definitely be interested. All right, now last year, they made this uh, communications version. And it's got a, you know, satellite dish pops up and stuff. I really like the fact that Tomica can take it. The same model that they've been using for whatever, throw an attachment on it, and it just makes it 18 times more cooler. I just I don't understand how they do that. I just they just do. Um, looking through my collection, I see all kinds of Tomicas that just you know they just have different parts attached to it, the same cab or same truck or same whatever. Um, but I really really like this model. I really like this model a lot. I like how different it is. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be like you know police or whatever like that i'm assuming it probably is with some lights on the front but that could just be you know warning lights or whatnot but unfortunately that's all the high aces i have i need more high aces i would love to have more high aces but that's all i got and i really you know i really want to get some more and i will i will guys i will but i just wanted to throw this out there Show something a little bit different. Always trying to mix the channel up. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like the high A's. Let me know if you hate the high A's. We're cool. We're cool. We don't even get this in the U.S. So the likelihood of me seeing this in real life is pretty slim. Although I guarantee you somebody will import one at some point in time. But anyways, I'm going to roll out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe. You know the whole nine yards. The whole YouTube spiel. But uh, we'll move on and uh, making some more content for you guys and hope you enjoy. Later.